week on Flagship. We say goodbye to an 11-year Bangkok clubbing institution, Bed Supper Club. Meet the person behind the whole bed concept. But we worked so hard that we didn't really think too much of uh, where we were going. It was We had to create something new. I remember when we opened, we created 200 keychain with a bed logo on it and we distribute it to uh, you know, movers and shakers in town. And the guy behind the DJ booth. Any, any DJ at bed was not on the radio and people loved it. It's very difficult. It has been 11 years. Personally, it's a, it's a chapter of my life that I have to close and hopefully that is not, that is not closing, just <laughs> moving somewhere else. All these and more only on Flagship! Hello, welcome to Flagship! Flagship! Yeah. Yeah. Of course, your host back with you today, Sarah, Bank, Barbara, and Piat is here as well. Hey. Hello! 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 We're so, today is a nice sad episode. Today, you shouldn't, you, we shouldn't have too much fun on Flagship today. What? Well, it it's a why? very sad day. Why? You look very sad, it's a very Bank. emotional day for all the Thai people and all the, you know, all the expats. We get upsetting with all these news that we're going to tell them. <laughs> okay, you got to calm down, buddy. Yeah, calm down. Okay. Calm down. I think we should give a minute of silence. Really? No, no silence. Yeah, no. We've got to sell a group. Sell well, actually, group. I think it's a, it's a good idea. It is. Not you, you be silent. And then we can talk. We can celebrate and you just yeah. sit here. Okay. All right, 10 seconds. So, but wait, wait. <laughs> Today <laughs> we're here. <laughs> yeah, we're here because Bed Supper Club is closing down. Of course, one of Bangkok's most famous nightclubs. So, we're going to give you guys the inside scoop on the history of Bed as well as uh, show you some of the people that were instrumental in starting the club. All right, 10 seconds up. All right, and <laughs> you also <laughs> will find out about the DJ and people behind the deck of Bed Supper Club. Ooh. We're going to meet them later in the show. Yes. This place has been around for how many years? 11 years 11 this year. Years. Wow. 11 years. And I feel everyone has their own little special memory here. For me, this is actually where it was the first legal night out on town for me. Okay, what happened on your first night here? What do you remember? I remember coming here being all excited because it's the first time you could give your ID card to the bouncer. And right. he looked at it and he's like, Happy birthday. And I got so excited. Yay! And then they gave me like a free bottle of some, I think it was a free bottle of sparkling wine. Ooh, and that yeah. was gone very fast. I remember when it, when it first opened uh -huh. in yeah. Thailand, it was such a big thing. Oh, because it was we, huge. Yeah, it was huge. Yeah. It was the concept of, you know, the clubs and the, the look of it and, you know, how you have bed. Yeah. Exactly. Actually, like, so okay, you so lie in bed. What clubs do you guys thing. remember that stand out in Thailand? Right, for me, there's uh, NASA, NASA. there's Taurus. Ta Taurus. You wouldn't know any Taurus. of these clubs. School bus. Yeah. School, School bus. bus. There's yeah. Narcissus yeah. is still yeah. around, right? Narcissus is still here. But, yeah. but the I fact that when bed came around at mm -hmm. that time, it was just so different from any yeah. other clubs at, at the time. Bed changed it, the game, definitely. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Ahead of everyone. Yeah. 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 So what changed the game about it? Well, of course, you have beds inside. I think that it's just a whole decor inside. Like a spaceship, right? Well, a spaceship, yeah. yeah. A decoration. And this, what, the divide into the restaurant part? Yes. Mm -hmm. And the party part as well. Yeah. yeah. Well, they That's have a restaurant, which is really there. awesome. Basically, um, it converts into a club at night, but you can come earlier and um, and enjoy the food. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they always have really interesting themes as well for the food. Like, they'll do, they'll focus on one kind of ingredient and just do an entire menu on it. Did you it, come or... for um, that special um, yeah. thank you anniversary dinner? Yeah, yes. so I came to what watch Yolanda do, um, Miss Yolanda do a uh -huh. gig here and we had an awesome supper and it was actually really cool. They had her in like this 1920s flapper outfit mm. and she performed in the yeah. white room and they always do like interesting things like P. Jean, uh -huh. it just did a dinner concert here as wow. well. And so yeah. they have all these concept dinners going on. And what makes this special because the four of us we all have a, have a memory together because we were here last year. Yeah. About yeah. Ago. Cupcakes. That's cupcakes. All I cupcake. 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 Why, why are you pointing at me, cupcake? I don't like, like cupcake. I, you you like kind of look like a cupcake. <laughs> Do I? All right. Um, no, but for my memory of us together in bed, about our first ever music video together. Oh. Yeah, oh, that yeah. was cool. Well, we're making Gene, right? So yeah. We, um, we kind of spoofed uh, the Crutons music video. Uh, so much yeah. fun. We did it very well. Yeah. I think we did. Oh, no, we better than I actually remember the fashion show, though. I remember the way Barbara walked down those stairs in that little fashion outfit. Oh, yeah, we had oh an episode my with God. Yeah, and I had to wear high heels. What happened to that? But that was really natural. You look, you look good in high See, heels. See, I'm a good actor. 
<laughs> please any direct out there, please hire me. No, but but he's pretty close to you though, at some club. Because I come Personally, here a lot uh, then? Is that why? No, no, only five times a week. I didn't. They get to work. There used to be this running joke that I live in bed supper club. I think you were the one that started this. What was that? Like that. Uh, coming yeah. over and over. Well, first, I'd like to clear up the rumor. I okay. didn't live here, okay? <laughs> well, yeah, she <laughs> lived she, 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 she she like two blocks away. I have a home. right there, isn't it, Barb? So forget about that, forget about that. I do camp out sometimes, it depends. It but depends. I don't know, it's just like, it's kind of like every time you come here, you see everybody that you know here, that's like all your friends, and it's always like a reunion kind of. And and I don't know, they just, they always have really good international DGs, DJs here as well. Do you run into a lot of locals or a lot of, uh, you know, expats like yourself? Um, a lot of expats, well, I would but, say. But there are but, a lot of ties that do frequent the I nightlife think, scene as I well. I think the crowd has changed yes. over the years because exactly. to begin with, there were a lot of Thai people yes. who like to come here quite yeah. often actually and it's packed every, every well, Tuesday night obviously, more than night, and then every weekend. In yeah. the first like five years, like yeah. it was really local. Uh, it was like the local market. Yeah, it was local market. And yeah. then it started to change. And then it was like mixed. And then it turned to more like an expat. Yeah. And then yeah. they bring in all the DJs, all the events. They're like organizing all the big events. There. Yeah. Great events here, especially yeah. the great goose events. Here. Yeah. You can call them to like have a good party there. Yeah. yeah, I've seen some of my favorite DJs here. Yeah. Where they have the closing party, which we're gonna be here. Yeah, we're gonna be here yeah. for the closing yeah. party. Not for work though, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Barb, you actually wrote an article. I did. In regards to, you know, uh, just going, like, the night scene in Bangkok. Yeah, and I got uh, a lot of people on social media either thinking that I'm awesome or thinking that I'm an idiot. That's good. That means so the article was Does that great. mean I'm doing my yeah. job? You did your job. Uh, well, I, I don't know. Bad, that's what... but, um... So tell us a bit more about the article. Basically, I'm making the argument that... There's a CNN Go article that says Bangkok has the best nightlife in the world, but I'm making the argument that it actually doesn't because there's a lack of different options in this city. You mean it's quite repetitive? Like it's quite places. repetitive. Um, like, I'm a girl, so I don't go to Soy Cowboy, I don't go to Go Go Bars. Yeah. Like, I'm a foreigner, so I don't go to the Thai places usually. Yeah. So it's like, there's a very small, um, there's not enough options. Yeah, I think it's quite saying. limited places for like, expat or like, yeah. foreigners people. I think it's debatable, because I think Thailand is still like, you know, people love to block it because it's exciting. There's so much yeah. going on. Yeah, anything like, goes here, right? Yeah, exactly. But then coming from your point of view, I kind of mm -hmm. get it because it's like there are little options for you to go to. Yeah. And so then, it, I don't yeah. know. It's, but no, I'm, but I think I'm debated you guys, by it. No, but you. I agree. You agree? I agree because I don't like going to RCA for starters. I find that place a little Where else scary. Where else it's a little you? scary for a girl to go by herself. Well, if, I'm you not go out by yourself? Go by myself. But if I was to go with a group of girls, RCA is not the place we go to. We'll go to somewhere nicer or somewhere much more chill. Well, it's fine with all that. I think Thailand or Bangkok City, I think it's a place for everyone. Maybe you, you know, take your time, find your way around and then see what you like. Well, there is exactly. definitely something for everyone. Exactly, yeah. and that's the only reason that I make the criticism is because I just want to see it get better because yeah. I love living here. Well, I think that's part of the new generation because we're all about you know what we think, our opinions, and everything. So any country you live in, you're gonna find the pros and cons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, it's time for us to head in there. We got um, some guests waiting for us. <gasps> yes, and that's a pro. Awesome. All right, so that's we'll see you guys yeah. after the break. Okay. All right, let's <laughs> go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Coming right up, Bank and Sarah go one on one with the creative head behind the bed, Mr. Sanya Suvanapuma. Well, if you have to take Sarah out for a date, what would you do? Go to a restaurant. Yeah, I mean, discussion. But we worked so hard that we didn't really think too much of uh, where we were going. It was, we had to create something new. <laughs> yeah. 